Pantry and today I'm doing a post canning chat and I feel like this one's pretty important and a lot of people probably skip over it or just don't do anything you know what I mean I already did the video this was uh, the video that I did for Christmas in July on the 9th and I did my um, cranberry jalapeno lime jelly okay for the holidays and I use a lot of this during the holidays plus I give it away I'll probably still make another batch come that season um, or if I see if I've got any more cranberries I don't think I do but if I do I'm gonna get them out and I'm gonna do another batch but so this is a taste test I've already opened this jar this is a taste test for you guys and I've already tasted it and that's why I decided to do this video the canning session went great. Everything sealed perfectly. It's got a great set on it, as you can see. Look, this is the set. It's a nice gelled, or you know, a jam. I should say jam consistency. So, now I'm gonna taste it. Very much cranberry in your face. Some lime in the background. I like the lime. And a hint, and I'm not kidding when I tell you, a tiny little breath of jalapeno. And I like having the heat in there. So it, it was a lot, I mean, this is delicious and I would use this, but I really want jalapeno flavor. I want the heat from the jalapenos. And so I'm gonna reprocess it. And I'm gonna show you guys exactly how I do this. Reprocessing is super easy. This doesn't have any pectin. All the pectin that's in here is from the skins of the fruit. So we don't, I don't need to worry about that or adding pectin to it. Um, I don't have to add any of that. I don't really, the only thing I'm gonna be adding is peppers and I'm gonna add both jalapeno and serrano pepper because the serrano will have a little more heat and a little different flavor, but I gotta get some jalapeno flavor in here more than just a breath. Does that make sense? because we like that sweet and spicy, it's delicious. And so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna get these jars all cleaned out into my pot and uh, it will waste five lids, but that's okay. Um, I'm, I'm okay with that. I, I made the decision that I wanted to reprocess it. I think it's gonna be a great video for you guys to see. So that video, look for that coming up next, um, probably tomorrow. I. I want you to see the whole process and I and I really want to encourage you that just because you have something that doesn't turn out exactly how you want it doesn't mean it's a fail it, this isn't a fail under any circumstances but is it did not meet my expectations of heat and when I tasted it while it was hot I, I could taste more of the jalapeno and I thought well, yeah, you know what I don't want to get it too hot and so I left it the way it was and I really should have gone ahead and added some more. So that's okay, we're gonna do it now and I'm gonna get this reprocessed. And so I've gotta get my water bath canner out and we'll get to that video next. So guys, yes, you can leave it the way it is or you can um, really let some of it cool down enough that you can really give it a good judgment call on the heat factor. I I, I don't even mind if I, I, this heat if the heat scale was like this, if I could taste more than a breath of the jalapeno, because I really like jalapenos. All right, guys, as always, I hope this inspires you to keep canning, keep preserving your own food and putting them back for the holidays and for any time of the year, because this is fantastic. Throw it on a pork loin. Mmm, yum. All right, bye. Oh wait, cranberry chicken. Mm. Okay, bye.